Well, Greg, it's very nice to see you again. Here we are working remotely through the wonders of technology. You're a tax partner with KPMG in New Zealand. Um, very interested to get your views on what was the New Zealand government's response to the current uh, health situation globally? Oh, Rodney, well, good to see you too. Um, the New Zealand government treated health as the priority in terms of our response to COVID. And so we had quite a severe lockdown, which was initiated fairly early. And we, we were one of the first countries to close our borders for international travel. Uh, the results been quite incredible. And, and currently um, we've had no new cases in about two weeks. Um, and we only have one uh, live case, so to speak, uh, remaining. Um, so the health response has been really good. We, we're now going into our lowest form of lockdown from next week, which basically is no lockdown at all. So business is now getting up and running. And the government's, um, the government's priority now is the economic response. So if you look at what we've done so far, uh, we had a wage subsidy for a three month period. That was about a $12 billion New Zealand um, spend for the government and the aim of that was to keep um, employees connected with their employers. Um, that's been reasonably successful. We are starting, that, that is coming off now and we're starting to see some business failures um, coming through which obviously is of concern. Um, but they've also introduced a small business loan scheme administered through an end revenue and there's also a government guaranteed scheme for banks uh, with the government about 80% of new loans um, to, to business um, under that regime. So there have been sort of the economic initiatives. Um, on the tax side, there's been three or four things which have been brought forward. Um, there's been the reintroduction of building depreciation for commercial buildings, which is 2% um, diminishing value or 1.5% straight line depreciation for commercial buildings, uh, which is now effective. Uh, they've also introduced a loss carry back scheme. So if you have a business which was profitable in 2019, but makes a loss in 2020, the 2020 loss can be carried back and you get a tax refund of the 2019 tax. So that's a new regime for New Zealand and that's going to apply going forward. Um, they've also, they're also allowing uh, for R&D credits um, to be refunded for loss making businesses. So they're, they're three of the big tax changes for us. There, there are a number of other smaller things which have occurred, but um, most importantly, I mean, we are seeing um, the government supporting the economy and we're, we're all doing our very best to, to get through this. Well, that actually sounds like very good news. And I guess for folk that are watching, so the government does have an array of economic supports that it's providing to some challenged businesses so if folk are in that category it's certainly worth checking to see what support is available and then some tax law changes aimed at supporting people on the fiscal side as well that must be keeping you kind of busy these days oh look it's good um we we we, <laughs> we made a point when we went into lockdown of talking to all of our clients um by video link such as we are now rodney and um and our clients were very pleased to, to talk to us. I mean, we were all working from home and had some good conversations about things like the wage subsidy and uh, whether or not people would um, would qualify, whether they should apply. Um, the, the, the process for that was interesting because it was a high trust model and refunds were issued very quickly um, by the government, like within 24 to 48 hours of applications being received. So. There's quite a bit of work now going on for those um, those companies that um, haven't suffered the 30% decline in revenue, which um, was required in order to qualify for that regime. So some companies are in fact paying back their um, wage subsidies to the government, but um, you know that's involved lots of discussions. And um, and look, businesses are actually pretty optimistic on the whole about the future. Um, some sectors are badly affected, mainly tourism. Um, obviously, um, but but there's a bunch of other companies that are that are doing quite well even under the even under the COVID sort of restrictions. Well, and that's a very nice note to end our discussion on, Greg. Um, green shoots in the economy. It's not all doom and gloom. So, well, thank you for your time. It'll be nice to catch up in person uh, the next time we're travelling. Thanks, Rodney. Look forward to it.